look, this is one of the reasons why so many trainers work at gyms because they don't they have they have the knowledge, they have the you know the exercise fizz background. They don't have the business skills to go out and get their own clientele. Mm -hmm. So they 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 compromise their own um, potential by getting paid X amount of dollars per hour working in a gym versus having a client base that they built on their own where they could charge um, exactly what the gym's charging, but not giving them yep. as their as their take on that. Does that make sense? Yeah, absolutely. So so um, I think that this ability to to, to, certainly, you need the knowledge. We understand you have to have the knowledge. But to be a successful coach, you have to be an enroller. You have to be able to have a conversation with someone and allow them to experience in a short um, interaction what they might be getting over, you know, what they might be buying as a mm -hmm. service from you mm -hmm. and do so in a way that doesn't like sales beat them up with a sales, you know, a sales pitch. Right. But as, as you talk about so often, turning uh, objections into coachable moments. Mm -hmm which works both ways. Absolutely. And one of the things that I've seen that's I've already noticed is that these this sort of confidence, this sort of real-time ability to to respond, to listen and to respond in a way that serves the client. Um, it it serves you so beyond oh. just just this this uh, this job or this passion that you have, it serves you in life, in every area of life. Absolutely. I mean, I took my car in this morning and used my active listening and perception checking skills and, and got a discount. So, you, yeah. know, you know what I mean? It's yeah. like, it, it's being present with people. And I, I, back to like our conversation about the vision, if, if, if you're too self-conscious and you make it too much about you, that's going to get in the way of those coachable moments and that those opportunities to enroll. Right. But if you're really committed on, like you're sitting across from somebody and you really feel like you can help them, having the confidence to put it out there and not being afraid of no's. Yeah. You know, as someone who's building your business, I got a lot of no's. But that was that was how I got to yeses as sure. well. And sure. that's how I got better at having those conversations. You know, and a no can be, uh, beyond just a learning experience, a, a no can be, uh, have its own level of satisfaction if you think that you delivered some amount of benefit to another human yep. being in that interaction. Yep. And, and no can be a not now yep. as well. And I think that's the other thing is not to take a no personally because sometimes people just aren't ready. Because investing in a health coach, not just financially, but emotionally, you have to be ready to be seen and be transparent. And, and a lot of people are And aren't accountable. Ready, and accountable. Yeah. And some people aren't, aren't ready for that. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's not, it's not taking those things personally. 